yourself. We want to thank you for joining us today. Today, we're going to be talking about simply brighter and better the next generation of cameras from Aver, our Cam 130, our VV 130. As always, Charlie Montoya, VP of Sales and Marketing here at Aver for our USB camera division. I also have Carl Harvell, our Director of Product Marketing for our USB camera division. We're going to be going through these new cameras for you um, because they are revolutionary, they are different. They're what we are all about. Let's continue to change the landscape by building products our customers are asking us for and what people actually need in the marketplace. So with that, hold on, I got a question. Um, I don't know about that one. Uh, Carl, take a look at the Q&A and see if you can answer that one. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I was looking at it. I'm not sure what your RU point is. No problem. Let's so <laughs> let me start with VB130. The VB130 is our first 4K video bar with intelligent lighting built into that. Let me repeat this. This is our first 4K video bar with intelligent lighting for it. I think this is the only first 4K bar with intelligent lighting across the entire UC platform. So really, why did we do this, right? We wanted to continue to build a product that was gonna give you crystal clear imaging, right? 4K quality imaging include lighting i can't tell you how many times i even go and watch the, the news right i'm watching kramer i'm watching the market reports and you see these ceos that look like they're in a closet somewhere it's so dark and their audio sucks as well which is just just drives me crazy but you're like lighting you need lighting you need better lighting we need to help you with lighting right on top of that we said hey we also need to make sure that we can control the environment. So we've actually included audio fencing that you can adjust to really only capture the audio that is coming from the areas that you want to. Included on the soundbar, beamforming audio technology. So you're gonna get the best quality audio possible. And of course, one thing that we're gonna talk about really a lot here today, and you're gonna keep hearing it from Aver, is our AI technology, right? How we can make video conferencing simpler and easier for people in the conference rooms. So let's talk, let's start about crystal clear imaging. First thing to tell everybody, this camera gives you the ability to choose what type of field of view you want. Do you want a 120 degree field of view or do you want a 90 degree field of view? Everybody asks me all the time, Charlie, why, why do I care? You know why I care? I work from home. I work from home. I only want to clean up what's in this area right here. That's it. That's it. Over there, over there is a disaster. You don't want to see over there. I'm not, I'm not moving my camera over there, right? So when I only have to clean up or I only have to control 90% of the area or, or 90, a 90 degree field of view, it allows it to capture on me. It allows it to focus on me. It also ensures that there's not a lot of dead space. So if you're a one or two people that are on a call, you can be perfectly seen and centered on the call, right? Why do you want a 120 degree field of view? Well, you want those more for the huddle rooms. You want them where you're gonna have three or four or five people in a wider area shot to be picked up, right? That's the whole difference. Or two that people will, socially distanced. Or two people <laughs> socially distanced, exactly, <laughs> exactly, right? The whole goal of this is to say, hey, Mr. Customer, you know your environment. You know what you're doing in that environment we're gonna let you set it up the way that you need to. 90 degree field of view, 120 degree field of view. The other part about this that I tell people, and this is what we've learned a lot, right? COVID hit, everybody went to go buy webcams, everybody started to work from home, kids start doing you know, uh, alert, distance learning from home. And what did we find out? Nobody was really ready for it on an enterprise quality level. Lighting was missing a lot. I would tell everybody, hey, if you go back and look at the calls that you've been on, if you look at the calls that you're on on a regular basis, do you have enough lighting? Do people think that you're in a dank, dark room somewhere? Or do you look like you're in a conference room where you're supposed to be? People in the enterprise space want to look professional. They want to look good. They want to make sure their quality shows that they are an enterprise class company to work with. If I portray that over video, you're gonna think that of me, 
right? If I look like I am in a dungeon somewhere where it's dank and dark and you can barely see me, do you really want to work with me? Probably not, right? But if you see the perfect lighting, you see the professionality, you go, great, now it's the person I want to work with. This is the team that I want to work with. That's why lighting's important. So what you'll notice you know, on the on the VB130, oh, go ahead, Carl, are you gonna add to that? No, well, one thing I was going to kind of add on is, you know, when I went out there and surveyed a couple of customers and looked at their conference rooms, you know, brand new conference rooms that look beautiful, that look immaculate. But I noticed almost every conference room has automatic lighting and it's usually the motion sensors that come in and every one of them is enabled to when you walk into the room, it turns on the light. When you look up, though, it's usually fluorescent lighting that has like two tubes, but only one tube turns on you would have to go and press a button for the other two. But I always ask everybody, hey, are, when people walk in the conference room by default, do they just go in, press the button to start and they're into the meeting, but do they ever turn the other light on? And almost every one of them says, nobody ever turns on the other light. That was one of the brainchilds for adding this onto products is because when a participant or an attendee, they don't think about lighting. They just want to go in there and start the meeting, but yet they want to look good. Okay. And the other part is when you think about lighting, right, a, a camera is having to pick up different levels, right? I'm, that camera lens is picking up two feet away, four feet away, six feet away, however far it's going to be. And depending on what light it's getting in there, it can show you it's too much light. It can show you it's not enough light. People don't understand the lighting needs to be in front of you. The lighting really needs to be in front of you, shining at you. And that's what our new series, series of cameras do. So VB130, let's talk about this for a moment automatically adjust the lighting levels for you. So it has a setting in here that will allow you to turn it on and it will automatically look at the lighting in your room. It'll auto detect it, how much lighting is in there. Do I need to increase the lighting? Do I need to decrease the lighting? It will set the right parameters for the call for you automatically. So give me an example, I work from home. If I have it on right now and I have it set to automatic intelligence, if clouds come overhead and all of a sudden it starts to get dark, the light's gonna get brighter. If the sun starts to come out, it's only gonna get lighter, right? So that lighting will adjust based on the quality of the room as you need it. Now it can do this automatically or you can go in and manually adjust it for yourself, right? So if you go, hey, look, I just wanted to have it on the max adjustment. Great, you can do that. It will also allow you to memorize the preference levels, right? So if you go, this is where I always want it to be at, perfect. It'll set, stay there for you and not change. We want to make this simple and easy, right? We want people to have to not have to worry about the remote controls anymore. Walk in and do their call. They're ready to go. The lighting, I, I will tell you, looking at it on calls, it's a game changer. It really is. So. Part three that we talked about that uh, on it. Audio fencing, why is this important? We've all been on those calls where that background noise drives you crazy, right? We all have been on those calls where the dog is barking outside and it's driving you crazy. I am so happy my neighbors next door moved because they had four dogs in the backyard for the first half of COVID. And all they did all day long was bark and fight with each other. If I had audio fencing, nobody on the other side would have heard it. It would have just been me going crazy instead of all of them, right? But with audio fencing, you're able to set the parameters of the audio and what you want to pick up and what you don't want to pick up. And Carl, I'll, I'll let you dive into it a little bit more to explain the details about it. Yeah, because it, it, it kind of goes in line with what you're talking about with the 120 degree and 90 degree field of view. So there's going to be three different settings for it. There's going to be a a narrow field of view, me, oh, medium, and then wide. The medium will be for like two or three people that are there. The wide is for a broader range. But the narrow field of view, like we said with the 90 degree, you know, you only want to pick up here visually. But audio wise, it's going to be calibrated to that level as well. So whatever you see on the screen for your near end view, that's what will be picked up. And, you know, with this, I've done tests on it where I'm, you know, singing off the ABCs, walking out A, B, C, D, E, you know, go silent, come back, LMNOP. So that's me singing. Anyways, uh, <laughs> but that um, just shows, you know, in that area for that field of view, that's how it's uh, established for the noise 
uh, for the audio fancy part of it as well. Again, game changer, especially when you're working at home, loud environment. As for us, you know, me and my family, everybody likes to be in the living room. Kids are doing uh, remote learning and, you know, wife is is uh, working on some projects as well. Sometimes just loud noises pop up and you just hear that in the background. And sometimes you, you know, you, you still want to be aware of what's going on inside your house, but yet you don't want it to interrupt what's on the far end, sir. It comes back to that professionalism, right? Everybody's trying to portray that professionalism, right? We want to make sure when you're listening to us and you're talking to us, as fast professional as possible. You're not listening to my younger three kids race up and down the stairs, often yelling and arguing over the last otter pop, right? Because they have to have the red one and there's like 15 green ones that nobody wants. But you don't want, I don't want you guys to hear that. I want you all to hear me rather than all that. That's what the audio fencing allows you to do. It allows you to establish what area of audio is actually being picked up. So it continues to make the calls much more clean, much more clear and much more professional. So exceptional audio quality, right? And I think this really talks to what our new soundbar technologies are gonna be about, right? We understand that customers today are looking for an all-in-one product that will give you the great camera quality, the great speaker quality coming out, but also the great mic pickup. So we actually have a five microphone array that picks up the people in the room precisely. So we know what's going on, what's happening, who's talking, and we work to get out that white noise. So you're not gonna hear as much of that tapping on the tables or hopefully the, the air conditioning being on. Our goal is to make it to where we hear you and only you. Clean, crystal clear, simple to use. Finally, for this, let me say that here's the other part that we've learned in COVID, right? COVID, we created products that had AI tracking on it. Suddenly during COVID, everybody went from not wearing a mask to now everybody has a mask. So we had to redesign our AI technology for it as well. With the VB130, we can actually smart frame and detect people even with masks up to 16 feet away. I want to thank my marketing team for a moment here, but especially for me, for being a guy from the US. And I know every now and then this comes out to the rest of the world. Everything is always done in meters. And I hate trying to figure out meters to feet. I'm just not good with that. So I want to thank my marketing team for putting 16 feet there for me. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you. So, but it gives you that smart framing technology to pick up people 16 feet away. So what is smart framing? For people that don't know what smart framing technology are, is what is smart framing? When you turn on smart framing, what it does is it goes, okay, how many people are in the room right now? On the picture, you can see there's five. Okay, great, there's five people in the room. I am gonna position it to where the, the everybody is seen on the call. So the camera will zoom out, auto frame, auto adjust, and pick up those five people. Once one person leaves and now you have four, the camera's gonna go, okay, now I have four people in the room. Let me move these people into a better position on the screen so everybody can see them all. The goal of this is not having to zoom in or out, pen left or right, just simply pushing one button to start smart framing and then let the camera do the rest, right? Once again, our goal is to make it simple. Our goal is to have people walk into the conference room and not have to think or worry about the technology, but let the technology to make every, have everything go smoothly for people. Simple, easy, effective, right? So really try to make it simple for people to use. So Carl, I'm gonna let you talk about this because I know this is near and dear to your heart. I, I know you love this part of it. So I'm, I'm gonna let you touch on the on the auto tracking presets mode. Yeah, I mean, so it's it's one of those situations where, you know, every conference room is, is kind of like a, a snowflake, you know, so it's always different. And, you know, the automatic adjustments or the automatic settings on there are usually really good. But sometimes, you know, with the framing, you know, a conference room table could be close to a whiteboard. And you're saying, you know, when somebody speaks from this general area, I would like the image to be framed to include the whiteboard with it and not just frame it on the person and, you know, have the appropriate headspace and left and right. So you could set audio presets to, or you could set uh, camera presets to say, okay, preset two, establish it to be around the whiteboard. 
uh, and have it uh, you know, established there. When you have audio preset tracking mode enabled, if any voice is detected from that general area, it's gonna to go to the preset rather than frame up to where the voice triangulation is. So you could set up a preset to have at the end of the table, at the, the sides, and that way, you know it wouldn't be it wouldn't be in a weird spot if it triangulates somewhere off because of weird acoustics in your room, which you know most of the time wouldn't be an issue. But sometimes people like to throw their voices. So if that's the case, uh, you could establish it and be pretty really precise on how the camera is going to frame up. It takes a little bit more administrative overhead to establish and set up, but when you do, it makes for a really smooth conference. Yeah, so I mean, think of it this way, folks, right? So what we're trying to do with this is get it to where for those people that are looking for some sort of voice tracking mode, right? This allows you to do voice audio presets. So what happens is left of the uh, left of the conference table would be one. Back of the con back left of conference table could be two. Back of the table could be three. You could have four, five. As people in that general area start to talk that's the direction the camera is going to go. It's automatically going to go set up in that exact spot. If you make it real simple, you can go, hey, look, we got a whiteboard over here. Every time I get up and go talk by the whiteboard and you hear me, great, now it's going to pick me up over there. It really is just giving people more options on how to control and manage the meetings, right? Because I think auto tracking is something that gets talked to a lot. It's just, how do we set it up? How do we use it for people? Okay. And once again, if you need any testing, any demos, any more information on that, we're happy to jump on a call and walk you through it as well. So really the other part that I want to touch on this is that this is a very small and compact design, right? I know it says 35 centimeters. It's about 13 inches overall, right? So this will fit on a, a, a 20 inch monitor or a 17 inch monitor. Uh, very easy to install, very easy to mount. All of your cabling goes directly through it. So it really is simple, plug and play, ready to go design. For those people that want to have it on a larger scale, yes, we have the ability to add an expansion microphone to it. So you could add a microphone to this and put it on your conference table if you like. We also have the ability for Bluetooth connectivity to it as well, right? So if you want to be able to jump in via an audio uh, or your mobile phone, you're more than able to do that as well. Um, Actually, I'm going to jump to this real quick, and then I know we got some questions that have been popping up, so we're going to answer those in a moment. For customers that are asking, hey, you currently have the VV342+, Plus, now you have the VV130, what are the main differences? VV130, obviously, now we've added lighting to it, right? So the lighting is something that's going to be a big deal for people. It's also a much more smaller, compact overall design. It also gives you that ability to do the 120-degree view compared to the 90-degree field of view, so you get a choice to it. It also has the auto framing, auto fencing, and much better smart framing overall technology. Now, a couple things that it is missing, it doesn't have RS-232 controllers in this, right? This isn't designed to be a part of a control set, right? It also does not have HDMI out. It really is just a simple USB 3.0 plug and play setup, okay? Now with that, I know we got some questions, so let's answer those before we jump in the Cam 130. Um, so Carl, one, how often is the camera checking the room for for people count? It's actually constantly scanning. So uh, unlike the other previous algorithms, this one is actually looking for a full body and it's uh, it's updating constantly. So uh, with that in mind, it, uh, it, it it scans every, I think two or three seconds to, to check for a new people count. Um, with a 99% success rate up to uh, 10 meters away, so. Cool. And then the other question is VB130 uh, ready to ship? VB130 will be shipping in April at limited quantities. Um, we will be sending out price lists to distribution partners and resellers uh, first week of April so they can start uh, start um, uh, start to price it out and start to place orders for it. So we'll be available very quickly uh, for you. That's what we like to do. We like to make sure we come out with products that are ready to go immediately. Cam 130. Cam 130 is our 4K intelligent lighting camera for small rooms and work from home. So this is, let me put it this way. This is our 
first iteration into webcam, right? So you're seeing a webcam type system with lighting built into it. So what have we done here? Obviously, we've taken the same camera that's in our VB130 and made it a standalone camera setup. So it gives you the ability to have 4K quality video with the lighting built on it to it as well, right? So we really want to make sure that those people that are looking for work from home applications can have the best quality video possible. This is where I see a missing part in the industry today. And this is where I feel, feel Ava is going to jump in and help out quite a bit, right? When you look at people that are working from home right now, and you look at teachers that are doing work from home, everybody ran out and just bought whatever webcam was available. They weren't thinking about quality. They were like, can I get it? Can I get it now? We're now into that phase where people are like, hey, I'm going to be doing work from home for the next year to two years, right? This might be a new thing for me. I might be spending 50% of my time working from home. I need to have an enterprise quality camera that gives me all the feature sets of an enterprise quality camera. I need to look like I am working from the office, even though I'm in my bedroom. That's what the Cam 130 is able to do. With the high end of video quality that we have, along with the lighting, to make sure that we're giving you the best lighting possible, this is going to give you the quality that you need. So once again, you're gonna see, we have the ability on this to do the intelligent lighting. It's your choice. You can either set it up for automatic adjustments so the lighting will change on its own, or you can set it up for manual to where you automatically set it, forget it, and you're ready to go. One thing that I noted in the PowerPoint slides that it doesn't talk about, this camera also gives you the ability for a 120 degree field of view or a 90 degree field of view. So you get to pick and choose which way that you want it to go, right? Do I want a 120 degree field of view? Do I want a 90? Once again, we're thinking about the home office worker like me. I don't want to clean outside this box, right? I really don't. It's just bad over there. I don't. I don't need need to get that much of my office picked up on. I think everybody also, really wants to see what's over there now. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Everybody's like, Charlie, what's what's on the side? You know, it's, it's no, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> but so, privacy matters. This does have a shutter to it as well, right? So we make sure that that's available for people. It seems. I gotta admit, folks, it seems simplistic. I can't tell you how many times I get this question asked about all of our cameras, right? Does it have a shutter? Does it have a way for it to close? So, the other part, auto tracking, just like our other cameras, just like the VB one uh, one th or the VB one thirty, we are going to be able to do that tracking people inside the room. So this will work in a small conference room, a huddle room, or that personal office. Yeah, so that's kind of a, a, a fix from when I answered earlier. It, it'll accurately track 99% up to seven meters away, not 10. Sorry, the, the, the 10 is our other Camfi 20 Pro 2 no camera that we came out with. We're not going to hold you too hard to that, Carl. We'll, we'll, we'll <laughs> so, so right now we have the Cam 340 Plus, right? What's the difference between that and the Cam 130? The Cam 130 <laughs> now is truly a work from home camera. It is truly our first work from home camera. It also has the lighting built into it as well. Small form factor, gives you the ability to do a 120 degree field of view or a 90 degree field of view, has auto framing in it, and it has a microphone that'll pick up up to about 12 feet away. Realistically, this is going to be for more of a work from home or huddle room setup. So you don't wanna, if, you, if you're putting this in a room, in my opinion, where you're having three or four people in that room, you're gonna to wanna to get another little speaker phone. You're gonna to wanna to get some other audio piece of the puzzle, right? We'll do the camera, bring something a little audio puffed in to, to handle everybody else that's in the room. Real simple, easy to deploy, easy to install. Um, got some questions. Let me answer the questions before we continue on. For the Cam uh, three, uh, blah, blah, blah. For the Cam 130, where does the user set a field of view? Is it in the settings in Zoom or the standalone camera app? So this is actually in our PTZ app that you can go in and set. Is that correct, Carl? That is correct. Look at that. I'm just good that at That is correct. Now, it, there, can, there, there is also an option for a, a remote control if you wanted to, and there's remote control shortcut keys up there as well. Hey, you know what? Here's an interesting one. How adjustable are the brightness level settings in the software, if any? How does the software work with PC versus Mac? So I think, Carl, the question it seems like is, how do I change the brightness on these? Yep. 
So there's uh, two different ways to do it. You can, or three different ways. There's the automatic mode in which there's a little sensor and it'll adjust automatically. Uh, on the back of it, there is uh, light level as well as color temperature. So uh, you could put it up to, I believe, five different light level settings. Um, now, if you have the power supply plugged into it, you could get more stronger light settings. If it's just USB by itself, there's like three uh, light level settings. Now, yeah. you could also do on the PTZ app, you could specify it on there with a the little slider switch. Going back. So, so for simplicity, if you don't want to have the PTZ app, you could actually do it on the back of, of the Cam 130. Yep. Um, Carl, and on the VB uh, 130, it's on the side, correct? Yep, there's buttons in there too. Yep, there you go. So there's actual buttons on the system itself that allows you to do it, or you can do it directly through our PTZ app. So hopefully that answers that question for everybody. Or on the remote control. Or on the remote control. Yep. Oh, question. Which one is better, optical zoom or digital zoom? Ooh, good question. I'm going to tell you my, my personal opinion. And this is, once again, this is Charlie 17 years in video conferencing. I am a optical zoom person. I love optical zoom. Now I will say this. I love optical zoom in a small, medium, large conference room. Digital zoom works very well for that work from home or that huddle room space because that digital zoom is only typically going 2x, 3x at the most, right? So you're not trying to get a 6x digital zoom in. If you need to go 2x or 3x, most of the cameras on the marketplace today, and I'm not just saying Aver, I'm saying everybody, most of the cameras in the marketplace today are very good at doing 2x or 3x. I don't recommend anything about 3x because you gotta remember, the more digital zoom you're going in, the more you're downgrading that overall quality, right? All digital zoom does is take that picture and blow it up and make it bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Kind of like me with pizza, right? It just makes me bigger and bigger, <laughs> bigger, bigger. So you want to keep that digital zoom as low as possible. Uh, last question, is the cam 130 USB-A or USB-C? USB-C. USB-C, there we go. Yeah. Cool. So why else? You know, at the very end of these, I like to talk about why Aver. And, and one thing that I tell you all is we're highly compatible. Our whole goal is to ensure that we are Microsoft Teams certified, Zoom certified, Ring Central certified, Google certified. Uh, we partner with Crestron, we partner with Extron, GoToMeeting. You can see the entire list there. We want to be the party for everybody. We want to make sure if you buy our camera and your customer installs it today, they don't have to worry about what cl cloud-based application they're going with. They just want to make sure that it'll work. And that's what Aver is able to do for everybody. So real quickly, because, wow, we're actually going pretty long on this one. I, I typically don't do 30 or 45 minute ones. So, so what are we seeing in the marketplace today? And, and I brought this up mainly for the fact that we are starting to see some different trends, right? We are starting to see some major trends due to COVID. In the past, large conference rooms were the norm. Now what we're seeing because of COVID is more people are moving to more huddle room type systems or rooms that are smaller in nature that will only have one or two or three people in it, right? So we're already starting to see that change. We're already starting to see that happen. And we were seeing this before COVID, in all honesty, right? Prior to COVID, we were seeing a market shift from large conference rooms to huddle rooms. We're just seeing that increase. And I'll tell you the one part that's not in here is we're seeing a large increase in the work from home environment, right? Companies today are budgeting out funds for their employees to work from home, right? There are companies out there right now Fortune 1000 and even, even SMB companies that are going, hey, if I have a manager that's working from home, here's what I need to support them. And that might be a $2,000 budget. Here's a $5,000 budget for my executives. And here's, you know, my my high executive and above that, that, that's just unlimited. But we know there are budgets being put in place today for that work from home. What does that include? It includes camera, it includes speakerphone, it includes lighting right everything that they need to have a good overall video conferencing call 
that makes them look as if they're in the office. That's what people are doing today. That's the overall goal. And that's what we're seeing take, take shape. And that's what Aver is trying to make sure that we can support as well. Oh, I see a question pop up here. For demo units, does someone reach out directly to Aver or to our reseller? Um, I would tell you reach out to both. I, 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 I recommend every, if you're, a, if you're an end user, I always tell you, please reach out to your reseller, let them know that you want a demo unit. They can reach out to us. I'll actually talk about our try and buy program here in a second. And we're more than happy to, to, to work with you on it. So questions I get all the time. Why Aver? Number one, high quality product. Our whole goal is real simple. We only make enterprise grade quality video conferencing systems. That's all we do. And I don't tell people to listen to me. I'm a sales guy. I've been a sales guy for 17 years. I love sales, right? I tell you, take a look at our product. Take a look at what it does. Test it yourself, right? We back up our, our, our statement of having high quality products because we have a try and buy program. And we tell people, hey, don't take my word for it. We will work with you to get you out a demo system, let you evaluate it for 30 days. If you like it, great, you buy it. You don't like it, call tag in the box, send it back to us no risk to you at all but we want to put the camera out in front of you let you test it let you evaluate it let you try it make sure it fits your needs before you have to buy it because we know when you do you're going to take our camera because we do know we have one of the best cameras in the marketplace today also and i don't talk about this now through it because i like to talk about it at the end all of our cameras have a full three-year warranty on it no additional cost Right? So it's not like with some companies where they go, hey, great, you bought a camera. You bought the camera, now you need to buy the, the, the warranty on that. And not, you buy year one today, now next year you gotta buy year two, and then year three. No, our full three-year warranty is included, no additional cost to you. We have a team in our office in Fremont, California, that answer calls and take your troubleshooting issues, right? So we actually have live support team to help you with any problems that you may have. In the US, we actually give you first year advanced replacement, right? So if any product breaks, you have a problem with it, has an issue, reach out to us within the first year, we will send you out at a replacement unit free of charge, right? So we make sure we take care of you because once again, we pride ourselves on being an enterprise class company. We pride ourselves on our products being an enterprise class company. We are not like a big lighter that once it breaks, you just throw it away. Right? We want to make sure that you continue to use us and we continue to work for you for the long haul. And finally, you know, you got to take a look at our award winning technology. And I want to thank my marketing team and my product team and my R&D team. Year after year after year after year, you see we have awards. Continue to. And I will say this right now. I still see our, our, our PC Magazine Editor's Choice Award for 2015. That was the ugliest camera I've ever seen in my life. But the fact that it was so technology techno, technologically sound that it won, still, still to this day, shocks me because it was an ugly camera. So with that, let's see what questions we have. Um, what will price be for Cam 130 and VB 130? We will be announcing that next week. Priceless will be going out. Um, and it will be up on our website uh, first week of April. So just everybody's aware of that, okay? So I think that's all the questions. I didn't see a whole lot in chat. Um, hopefully we're able to answer everything that you all, all needed from us. Once again, the team will actually put this up and you'll be able to view it at a later time. PowerPoints will be available. You'll be able to go to our website, uh, averusa.com. You'll be able to take a look at any type of data sheets that we have, brochures we have. You're able to pick that all up. So I really do want to thank everybody for joining us today, taking the time out of your day. Oh, wait, hold on. I see two more questions pop up. Oh, no, I saw that. Oh, same thing. Oh, no, hold on. Oh, hold on, Charlie. Slow down a little bit. I love it. Will you add smart frame features to VC5 Pro 2? Um, I like how you put that. Can you put VC5 Pro 2, T-O-O? -O. Yeah. We just launched the VC5 Pro 2. The actual number two uh, that does have smart framing feature, smart framing technology in it. The VC520 Pro also has smart framing technology inside of it. Uh, the Pro 2 version obviously has better. Um, we've changed the chipset in it. We've upgraded that overall camera system to be more future proof as well. So, um, and we're happy to go over that. And actually, those videos are up as well where we talked about our VC520 Pro 2 and our Cam520 Pro 2 last month. So, you'll be able to see that as well. So 
with that now. Oh, look at see, every time I say it with that. Oh, no, but just thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank everybody today for taking the time to join us. I know this was a little bit longer than most of them that we have, uh, but hopefully you got a lot of good information. And any questions that you have, feel free to reach out to our AVER team. We're here to help and support you any way possible. 